Hey traders, good evening. This is Cousin Vinny coming to you from Day Trading Radio and also brought to you by my options delta.blogspot.com site and um, home for my videos, Cousin Vinny Day Trade. What I wanted to talk to you tonight, uh, Goldman Sachs. Uh, we scalped it today on the 15 minute chart where um, midday we came down and we hit the 20 EMA and I got in somewhere around this these two candles right here scalped it for about 20 cents on the April 165s and the May 165s um, I had a total of five each and made about 20 cents on each uh, 20 cents on the, the May or excuse me the April 165s and a little bit more on the May 165s. Okay. Note with Goldman Sachs that we are overbought in this area, and typically what I like to do is to capture a move or a retracement uh, down to the oversold uh, level before I enter an options trade. Right now, it's just too much of a possibility that this could turn down very quickly and we could move back. All right, Johnny was talking about this today where we had um, these moves up and down move up as a possibility we could move back down mm, somewhat. Um, you can see this a little bit more clearly on the um, on the hourly. Uh, we had to move down, move up, move down it's a little shallower this time. We're a higher low. Move up. Did we come back down and test this upper trend line and then take off? Very good possibility. That would give us an oversold condition and that would be my ideal entry. I'd be looking at the 30 minute to move down and I would use probably use the 15 for my entry signal. But uh, I like this long term uh, mainly because uh, XLF is looking really good. Uh, it has broke out, bounced off the 100 EMA, the white line here, and moved up to the upper Bollinger Band. We are a little bit overbought. Uh, doesn't mean we can't embed like we did back here in December and continue to move higher. I tend to think we're going to move higher, only because we had uh, phase one base here and then we broke out and now we're in phase two. Uh, so phase two can typically last the longest of all the phases, all right? If you follow what I've talked about with phases one, two, three, and four, um, with one being the beginning where smart money gets into a position, uh, the hedge funds and so forth, and then phase two where smart money is continuing to add and gradually gets to a point where it gets to phase three or at the top, and they start taking their money off, uh, their positions off. Okay. Anyway, so XLF is looking good, so. GS is one of the more strong components of same. All right, uh, downward trending uh, wedge. Uh, we've hit it three times now. Uh, we've hit the upper uh, a number of times, depending on where you draw this upper trend line. And we broke above that. We're currently sitting right on that 100 EMA. That's where we closed today. Okay. Um, this upper trend line, the yellow, that. No coincidence, right, that this uh, connects points and uh, we hit that point again, uh, a very long trend line, all right? So these are previous trends that we were trading um, back in 2009, 2010. Anyway, uh, point and figure resistance is right at 165.49, so I'll be looking to use that as a target, all right? So 165.49. Also like uh, J.P. Morgan, which broke higher today. Um, Bollinger bands are expanding. If you follow me, you know I use these quite extensively to gauge the momentum in a trade. When these turn in opposite directions, that's telling you we should continue that move higher. Okay. So that's J.P. Morgan. Um, Wells Fargo also looks good. Uh, though not quite as good as the other two. Maybe we break out on Wells Fargo tomorrow. Um, and also uh, some of the other banks, Zion, 
Okay, you can tell we squeezed here. This was really nice. Squeeze, hit the 200 EMA. <coughs> Excuse me, they hit 200 EMA, yes. On this downward trend, and then we're moving higher. Okay, we squeezed and then we broke out. So the rule is in an uptrend. Uh, it's not much of an uptrend, but anyway, if this were an uptrend, uh, more defined, uh, the high within the squeeze, which would be this candle here, the close above, is where you get in. Okay? That's Zion HBCS, HSBC. Uh, I think they're mostly based out of England, right? UK. Um, what I'm thinking about is uh, Huntington Bank shares. That's it. Okay? So Huntington Bank shares is another good one that once we get a move on here, um, this one could be another another good one okay so we're looking for this to continue um, Huntington Bank shares as well so the um, going back to GS I'll be looking for uh, the target again 165 so I'll be trading the 165s uh, a little bit out of the money but they're decently priced they got the good Delta and I may buy one or two 160s so I get a little bit better um, move on my um, my premium all right we're somewhat compressed here so this is set to expand and volatility get into the stock and options and increase the value very quickly so again this is cousin Benny with uh, a trade on GS also one other thing I'm looking at um, WebMD um, talked about this with Kaneko today in the room and we saw this downtrending channel, this huge hammer that happened today. If you're watching this on the 15 minute and the 30, uh, we got some really big candles here and got a pretty substantial move with stochastics, all right, um, which could have given you a nice options trade, okay, if you had had the cojones to get into this uh, on this punch out. The rule is when you punch out uh, below. Bollinger Bands, you buy the candle above this close right in here, okay? So you're going to bought in this in this range here. Anyway, um, Bollinger Bands are starting to turn already. Um, so this is looking kind of interesting. Uh, the punch out, close above this candle. Oh, it's the close above this candle. And uh, the punch out. And then you move higher, okay? So... I'm watching WebMD. I don't know if I'll trade it or not, but that's something I'm looking at. I'll probably do the 50s if I do it at all. And uh, being we're so close to expiry, I will uh, likely take May options, right? Again, this is Cousin Vinny. Take care, and remember to take profits, and remember to use your stops.